Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mass Effect. Last time I have really no idea what we were doing because it's been a little bit. I've been more distracted on Prey as of the past little bit. So um, I'm trying to think. We were looking for Reyes. I ended up trying to figure out where he was. Um, apparently because like a marker never shows up for the damn guy. Uh, I learned that he's in the slums bar. I went to the other bar and uh, he wasn't at that one place. So we're here now. I uh, put on a different helmet. It's like an... One of the Argonian guys, or whatever the fuck they're called, Angarian. I always forget how to pronounce their name until I hear someone actually say it. But, uh, yeah, we were looking for him. I couldn't find him. Uh, I finally found him. Uh, hopefully this is the work with Reyes thing that I need to do in order to eventually settle here on Kadara, because that has been, like, the main focus, is settling on Kadara. Ryder. Perfect timing. You saved me the trouble of looking for you. I could flirt with him, but I just don't want to. Nothing so morbid. This is actually a personal favor. Oh God! They got framing. Zia Cordier lifted cargo I was moving for a client. You want my help getting it back? We worked so well together on the row car job. I thought you'd be willing. I hope for a price. We cut the profits fifty-fifty. <laughs> Sixty forty. Final offer. Deal. Why is he so framey? Zia drinks at Krala's song. We'll start there. See if Umi heard anything that could help us. Gotta get myself comfortable here. Alright, we continue on to work with Reyes like we're supposed to until further development. We. Yeah, I wanted to jump back in because we've been doing this for a while and hopefully we're getting somewhere to the end. Uh, really got to look into that Sol Solarian arc because I still have no idea. You know what? I'm actually going to do that now. I'm going to actually just see when uh, Mass Effect Andromeda Solarian arc. No, not sales. I don't care about the Asari or Turing's. We already did those. Okay, that's done. Still need to track down Reyes's cargo, though. Ah, okay. It says it's part of the main story that we're supposed to find it. As I read, it just comes out of nowhere. <clears throat> so hopefully, I, I somehow don't manage to miss that. I'm going to be really sad. I managed to get everything else, so that would really suck. Nice to just be in my regular self, looking at that sexy face that I made. See, this is where I originally went to look for, uh, for Reyes the first time. Sorry. You look like you're waiting for someone. That's my line. Aha. Uh -huh. You want a drink or a room? Information, actually. That'll cost you more than a round of drinks. My friend's good for it. Uh Put it on my tab. See? What do you want to know? Zia Cordier. She been around recently? You mean your ex? Yeah, she was here. You never mentioned Zaya was your girlfriend. Uh, so much not, flirting I could be we doing. Together sometimes. I drink with a lot of people. Anyway, she was here? Yeah, met with a Solarian. Shifty guy I'd never seen before. Maybe it was the charlatan. Anything's possible. You overhear their conversation? They were planning to meet someone at Sparrow's Ledge. Thanks, Umi. Whatever. You didn't hear it from me. It'd be a bit if nicer. It's so weird to see, like, kind of a good. bitchy Asari. Because it Don't seems like a lot are nervous or nice. But you never know. I'll call you when I get there. Thanks, Ryder. I'm just used to a lot of the Asaris either being very intelligent, smart, like scientist types. And then I'm also used to them being like, um, either very nervous or just, I don't know. There's like either confident, nervous, but I don't really see bitchy too much, but... Again, I don't go around talking to a whole lot of Solarians. <laughs> Believe it or not, I can't. 
I'm working with Sandstorm and my pistol. I just want to go back to good old Carnifex. Nah. I like this pistol. It does an alright amount of damage with an okay rate of fire. Plus, I just like the design and the way it looks. I'm a very big, like, revolver style guy. So anything that looks like a revolver is my thing. <coughs> Except in Overwatch. I don't really care for playing as McCree. Even though I don't even play Overwatch all that much anyway. But I like the character. I just don't care much, though, to play him. why I went through that fucking Call of Juarez game. I love, you know, the Western stuff, even though I think the other two after the original, one was, like, modern and the other was not. As it, it was not modern, but I think it was still not as Western. Gunslinger was pretty good. I played that one way back. On That was a good one. Fun times. Gonna come through the door like a normal person. I'm a good boy. Alright, where do you want me? Over here? By this structure? Alright. Thank God I got the station for it. Eventually, I know I'll go back to the Call of Juarez. I know I bitched and moaned through that entire first game. That was fun times. <coughs> it was just during a time where I didn't really know what the fuck I wanted to stream, so I was gonna do just random game series playthroughs of things I haven't played before. I'll probably go back to it at some point. Because I'm still doing that. I'm still playing games I haven't played through before. Be okay. Every time you say that, I believe you less. Doesn't make it less true. Looks like we missed the meeting. Let's look around. Maybe see you left something behind. We always miss all the fun hey, stuff. Ryder, something's hidden here. Gotta be a way to get inside. Sam? The lock is controlled remotely. Perhaps by something nearby. God. I did upgrade my lance to finally max it out. There was an ability to have no cooldown and just make it hurt my shields, but I didn't want to risk that because I feel like I just end up Beating my ass up every time. Think I found something. Looks like a wire. Maybe this will get us inside. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Did it do anything? Right over there. All right. I was like, do I have to drive? I guess I could have gotten in the vehicle and driven, but oh well. Big angry guy over there. Let me make sure uh, Drac and them are okay. Are there points? Yeah, they're fine. Reyes, I found a data pad with what looks like a nav point. Must be where Zia's hiding the cargo. Probably left that behind for the buyer. Whatever happened to just going to a store? Sloan takes a cut from all official sales in Gadara. Gotta get creative if you want to go around that. Did you find anything on your end? The Salarian is a fence. No direct connection to the collective. My guess is Zia met him to find potential buyers. Let's follow up on those coordinates. I'll meet you there. Oh boy. Where do you want me to go now? Over here? Well, thank God for the fast travel. Normally, I wouldn't have a problem just driving from place to place, but, you know, from how long we've been playing, this game came out at the end of March. We played all through April, and we're into May already. And I was able to play through an entire, like, I played through Kingdom Hearts and Uncharted while doing this game. I am just trying to get through it a little bit quickly, but not too quick. I still want to enjoy the game, but I have been trying to take a bit of shortcut here and there to not make it too long. I'm trying to be a good boy. At least I am actually trying to set up play home. Started without us. As I could have just not been getting these places. We could have just been gone and done. Probably easily rushed through the main story if you just stopped to care. Stop caring about all the other stuff. It's empty. What if 
this was all just some elaborate trick to get you here. You mean, there was never any cargo? Bravo. I knew you'd figure it out eventually. Zia. You could never resist a big payout. What can I say? I'm a greedy man. That's why you don't have any friends. You're selfish. Can't argue with that. She has you there. Ouch. You must be losing your touch rate. <laughs> I remember you being such a smooth talker. Right up until you dumped me. Don't tell me that's what this is all about. Of course not. You've been taking all the good jobs in Kadara. It's gotten more than my attention. So what? The local smuggling union got together and decided to take me down? Something like that. Oh, shit. Move in. Oh god. I dropped my controller. Thank god that cutscene. Uh thank god that cutscene. I was trying to adjust my headphones real quick, and then I dropped my controller down and I was like, uh oh, please don't go into a fight just yet. Don't go into a fight just yet. I'm trying to get my this all sorted here, so this is more comfortable for me. My headphones have been all kind of fucky lately. Well, oh, missed that one. I have my pistol up. Well, it is kind of close quarters, but whatever. It's also got increased force. They kind of go crazy when they get hit. My cooldowns are coming back pretty damn quick. Boop. There's a lot of pain up here. Return to the Tempest. I knew I wasn't popular, but I never thought the other smugglers would team up against me. Kind of flattering, actually. You'd be smart to keep a low profile. Discretion is my forte. Ah. All that effort and no credits to show for it. There are a few less smugglers in Kadara. Think of it as thinning out the competition. You and your silver linings, Pathfinder. Hmm. I should clean up this mess. Zia was a piece of work, but it feels wrong to leave her out in the open. It says I gotta go back to the Tempest. Not a problem. Going back. Do we have to like talk to Reyes? Act as if a couple days or a day passed and be like, look, I finally got something set up for you. I also just bend my uh, my hand into something pretty fucking like the sharp part of my desk on the underneath. Ow. <laughs> you can skip it, it's beautiful and all, but I'd like to get to the ship a little quicker. Oh my god. We're coming back! <laughs> We're probably going to be coming back just to set the damn outpost. Ryder. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Yes. Probably just check the email up there, but I always like to, uh... Go down here, especially since I wanted to kind of like look at the different tints. I might, or like the tint. I like the, that, but maybe we should stop being so ridiculous with the blue and white. But I don't know. I just like the blue and white. It's been my go-to color. Good, now I have to call Reyes. I'm gonna assume the VidCon is the way they call him because I don't think I got a phone anywhere here. Believe it or not, I do not own a phone. <laughs> 
just crazy talk in this game. Bitcoin channels already, Pathfinder. I'm glad I figured it out. Ryder, how's my favorite Pathfinder? Just enjoying another day of what Helios has to offer. Why? Thought we could grab a drink. Sloan's holding a get-together for the locals. I managed to snag an invite. Care to be my plus one? I'd never say no to free drinks. Especially from Sloan's reserve. I wouldn't trust anything you. from Sloan's reserves, but... Have you seen that face? Ugh. That's probably what happens when you drink with her. Now I have to go to the goddamn place again. Could have just had this conversation. On the base. Damn it. Now orbiting Kadara. Oh, right. Don't we have to, uh... Pick up something for, uh, PB here as well? I completely forgot. I thought we did that, but maybe not. Oh, no, we did the other one. We came here, but then I was so focused on wanting to set up my place. I never did, I don't think. And we're back. Get through these long ass doors. I get the feeling this would just be awful. Where they want me to go, I, I don't know. Hear people talking out here is I want to call my sister. Alright, let me see on the map how the fuck I go about getting to where you want me to be. There. Make sure I go into the right one and not some other bullshit objective. It appears festivities are underway. Mr. Riddell asked you to meet him at the entrance. Thanks, Sam. Hope I packed a pistol just to be safe. Hold up. This is a private event. I'm meeting a friend. Not without an invite. He's with me. Reyes Vidal. Go on in. All it took. Man, what a party. I feel so out of place here. Reyes Vidal. I was beginning to think you wouldn't show. Remember what I said about fashionably late? Shh. Introduce me to your companion. Pathfinder? Meet Kima Dorgan. The Angaran representative to Sloan and uh, a friend. A pleasure, Kima. Call me Ryder. Reyes mentioned your professionalism. Sorry to cut this short, but I need to take care of Of course, of you're going to leave me hanging here. Abandoning me already? It won't take long. There are important players here tonight. You should mingle. Make a good impression. Don't do anything to get us kicked out. Please? I won't ruin your fun. Promise. And there he goes. Any idea what he's up to? It's better not to worry about what Reyes does. <laughs> Enjoy the party. Fucking ditches me. They're gonna go fuck. Yeah. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. Good to see you again. I hope these pirates haven't given you a bad view of my people. <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I judge individuals, not group. You, for example, I like. Not sure about who you work for, but I've learned to keep my options open. You never know who might end up in charge. Exactly. Exactly. I know you already. Crashing parties now, Ryder. Free food and beer are just so hard to come by in Helios. Uh -huh. Just keep a low profile. Sloan's already gonna give me hell. 
You're not happy to see me? I'm a guest. I'm here with mysteriously absent. Just keep a low profile. All right. I'm gonna keep a low profile, but rising right up to her and saying hello. Pathfinder, what an unexpected surprise. Sloan, what gives? I thought we were friends. I'm glad we cleared up that misunderstanding. Shots later? No. Ah, you sure? Pathfinder, what an un Nice of you. We both know I'm not doing this to be nice. Smart. Like I said, there's no reason we can't be civilized. I thought we were friends. Why don't we just have some shots? Damn it. Why can't the serial numbers be in the same spot? Take the night off. Come out for a drink. Should have known you were up to something. Ryder, it's not what it looks like. So you didn't use me as a distraction to go through Sloan's stuff? <laughs> okay, yes. But it's for both our benefit. This motherfucker. I'm making a lot of promises. Shit, someone's coming. We need a distraction. Sorry. <coughs> My friend had a bit too much to drink. <sighs> ah, he deserved it. it Next time, I come up with the plan. Finally, here it is. That's what this was all about? Whiskey? The only bottle of Mount Milgram in Andromeda. Triple distilled and six years old. This isn't whiskey. It's treasure. So you're gonna go die from it, right? You have a problem. You really need to rethink your priorities. Ha. Huh. We'll see. Let's get out of here. How would that place not have cameras in it, you know? What the fuck are Gorgeous. we even having a date? Like what the hell is this? I sometimes forget. Is Andromeda everything you hoped it would be? I knew things wouldn't be easy, but this is more than I signed up for. Look at my bright ass blue you? outfit. <laughs> Why did you come here, Reyes? I have to look special as a pathfinder. I gotta stick out like a sore thumb. To be someone. That sounded surprisingly genuine, coming from you. I'm always genuine, Ryder. In my own way. Why do we gotta sit next to each other having this drink? I was perfectly fine not facing each other. Wait for trouble to come calling. Oh, boy. Oh, I wonder what trouble will come. I feel like they're gonna want me to go to my Tempest and then I'll get like an email of something bad happening. We'll just go back to the Tempest, I guess. I, fuck if I know. There's nothing else I can do. I have to wait. I'm assuming, anyway. The wait, it's on hold. There are some things I need to look for on or do. On the Nexus. Maybe we can go back to the Nexus. Unless, uh, what's his face? Allies. Has to be on the Nexus. So, yeah, we got that to do. Alright, we gotta go to the Remnant Ruins on here. So, let's actually go do that. And then we gotta go back to the Herval or whatever and meet the contact. It's the loyalty mission. Got a few things to do, might as well do them, get them out of the way. Oh yeah, it's a cyclone, another one. Fuck the cyclone. <laughs> Never 
buddies. Just checking my messages on these load screens. What I do during prey. I just like look off and check something real quick while we're loading. Do do do. This this series has been going on for a while because we started back in March when it released, and it's already May. So we've been doing it for a good almost two months. But again, when you're stuck doing an open world game for two to four hours at a time, of course it's gonna take for fucking ever. It tends to happen. Uncharted 1 was actually pretty quick, and I also heavily focus on Kingdom Hearts. Sloan? Really? I need to speak to you. Come alone. What is this? I noon. She hung up, Pathfinder. Well, we'll see what she wants, but not after I go to where I need to be, which is down there. So we'll just drive there. Better since see what she wants. Gotta go to the Remnant Ruins for PB. But uh, then I was really heavily focused on Kingdom Hearts for a little bit at a time, so I was really playing that a bit more than Mass Effect. Um, cause I did get a bit addicted, and then I started to play like a heavy amount of K Mass, Mass Effect lately. But now Prey came out, and I've been distracted on Prey. I've been, you know, enjoying this, and now I'm in Prey, and I said I might get to Horizon Zero Dawn, I'm not sure. Like, that's still kind of up in the open of if I will do it or not. The problem with that is I don't remember if I could switch to difficulty in mid-game. I did pick to play on very hard, and I'm kind of like... If I'm going to play it, I don't think I want to do it on very hard now, just because I don't want to get stuck. I've already had a lot of struggles on certain parts of that game. We'll see what happens, if I'll go back to it or not. It gives me something to do, so I have no problem playing it, because, uh, you know, I do want to experience that game. Oh, load screen. Not really a screen, but a load time. Because I do have a good hefty, like, not a ton, but I still got a lot of stuff to play and beat. You know, there will be a time where I'll probably run out and have no idea what the fuck I'll play, but... So, might as well add Horizon Zero Dawn to the list of things, but I'm just... The problem is, I've already done a specific amount of videos, so it's hard to just start over and do it again. And then figure out where exactly I lined up on to with the videos. So... I'll just have to probably stick it out on very hard, and then afterwards. All right, let's find the piece of tech PB needs. Just go within. If I get stuck or have problems, then we just stop. Checking this container. <laughs> Empty, but there's a data pad. Looks like there's a message for us. <laughs> Hope my boys put up a fight. But you're too slow, Pathfinder. I got what you're looking for. I'll meet you and your Asari at Kadara Port. You can buy. Well, the good thing is, I gotta go to Kadara Port anyway. Where the fuck was it? Over here. But yeah, I do want to play the game and experience the game for myself, like Horizon Zero Dawn, but that's what I'm just worried about. I would hate to play it now when it's on very hard and eventually i was doing pretty decent but the game will probably get a hell of a lot harder no doubt the further we get to the game that's what i'm worried about because i had i went to that cauldron fucking that that was tough and kind of miserable but i don't know like i said i really do not know it might not be for a real long time it might not even be not like real long but it might not i might not start it right away um, I might not start it up right away after Mass Effect. I might take a bit of time to play other things, and then I'll be like, oh, right, remember this game? Because it's like, in my head, I gotta think, you know, I got a lot of games right now on my plate to play, but at the same time, eventually I'll run out, but at the same time, there are things in the coming months that I'm going to want to play. Pathfinder. 
about to find him. Who knows? We'll, we'll figure out what the fuck I'm gonna play. Krogan to show? Just need to buy the Oh god, why does that happen? Perfect my remnant scanner. He and his crew keep showing up at sites we're targeting. It can't be coincidence. I think they could be following us somehow. That makes sense. It would be nice to know for sure. I'm working on it. Ryder, come in. We've got a problem. Go ahead, Callow. We've had an intruder. Got on board and into PB's quarters. Her bot is gone. Pock? Any other areas compromised? We're doing a full recon, but I don't think so. They left an impressive piece of REM tech and a recorded message, relaying it now. Ryder, it's Kalinda Terev. Pelisari is, well, whatever she calls me these days. Please tell Could've her fucking figured. the nifty bot. I trust the REM tech piece my crew took will be adequate payment? Oh, and no need to wait for my Krogan friend, Kranit. He and his outlaws work for me. Ta. Shit! Why can't she just leave me alone? I take it you were lovers? Why? Think she's fixated or something? Ugh. Ah. To complete my scanner, I need access to the storage device in Pock. Kalinda's always been a troublemaker. Anything for a rise. And if there's a profit in it, all the better. I'm sorry you're catching her crap now, Ryder. You don't have to deal with this. I'll take care of it on my own, I promise. Hey, we're in this together. Uh, thanks. When I have a lead on getting Pock back, uh, I'll let you know. Thanks. <sighs> Bitch stole my bot. <laughs> Bitch stole my bot. I like how that helped the viability of this place. Sure, but then again, this place could use any sort of fixing up. They put it probably in this. Fucking doors, damn it. Oh, you're like at the place, but they're just gonna make me go in this weird circle. And all over the place.